Remember the ending of Interstellar? Humanity learns to control gravity, leaves Earth, and ends up living aboard a massive space station. So what if we had to live on something like Cooper Station from Interstellar? Where would we actually get our power? The most obvious answer is the sun. In space, sunlight pours down non-stop no nights, no cloudy days, just 24 7 energy. So annual power output could be two to three times higher than even the best spots on Earth. That's why space solar power is such a hot topic. Cooper Station might still be far off, but space solar power is already making progress. And it's not just theory anymore. Scientists have even started experiments to beam power down from orbit. Here's how it works. You can't run a cable from space, so satellites convert the electricity they collect into microwaves and beam it toward Earth. On the ground, thin panels called rectennas pick up the signal. Basically, just like solar panels turn light into electricity, rectennas turn radio waves into electricity. That power can then be stored in batteries or fed straight into the grid. In 2023, a test successfully transmitted detectable power from space to Earth. On the ground, another experiment sent 1.8 kilowatts across about 180 feet. So, yep, it's already working for real. Of course, there are challenges. Right now, only about 13% of the solar energy collected in space actually reaches the ground grid. And the cost? Yeah, that's a big one. NASA estimates that building a 2 gigawatt system about the size of a nuclear power plant could run anywhere from 276 to 434 billion dollars. Even so, research isn't stopping because with endless sunlight, energy security, and carbon neutrality on the line, the stakes are too high. 